everyone. Welcome to your daily card reading for March 9th, 2015. And I'm going to actually do this one, uh, make this one a little bit quicker because um, I'm kind of already getting behind in a day. So I'm going to draw uh, maybe two, two chicken cards and a tree magic card. And then um, I'll post again in, um, you know, another 12 hours or something, um, the, the second reading for tomorrow. Trying to get this out there. Okay. Ooh, I like it. It's um, the eucalyptus tree, love revealed. And I always think of uh, breathing easy with eucalyptus, Hel helping you to breathe easy, which means um, just to really um, be flowing through life and. and um, be at one with with your life like everything's going easy everything's going good and it's number 19 and 19 has to do with um, the existence really coming in the the magic of existence um, the physical world kind of being activated magically by existence for you and then this uh, kind of the, the oneness of relationships where where there's like um, kind of a there's always a, a tensegrity with um, human relationships um, in, in the same way that our body is, has um, tensegrity. It's actually a word. <laughs> and tensegrity is, um, you know, if, if something, one, one uh, you know, tendon or muscle, for example, with the body comes out of whack, goes out of order, like your whole system gets thrown off. And then, and then you get all these patterns in your body of... of um, tension and, um, you know, disturbance. So as one part of your body gets disturbed, the whole of it gets disturbed. And that's the tensegrity of the body. And um, relationships are the same with people. So um, if there's a, a problem in, in a relationship between two people, it affects everybody. It, the tensegrity of, of uh, social relations really gets hit by, by just a, a relationship between two people. So um, anyway, this is this is really about uh, the magic coming in um, into the te intense egrity. You know, it's almost it's almost like the hologrammy in a sense. But um, uh, my chicken hologrammy, she's she's listening too. She's over there. Hi hologram, can we get you on camera? Where are you hologram? There you are. Oh no, she's not happy. Hologram. Oh. All right. Well, anyway, that's how it's going. And um, but but uh, this this has to do with um, kind of a a shift and a change in in the tensegrity of of human relations. So um, as you know, love and magic come come into one relationship between two people. Um, that affects the whole. That also um, helps the tensegrity of, of the system. So uh, this is like a healing of the tensegrity of uh, social relations. Okay. And I'm just going to draw two of these cards and get this loaded so you guys get this earlier. Oops. Earlier rather than later. So this is uh, the Tia Arcana. And ha ha ha. And um, oh, just all right, like that. <laughs> um, okay, so this it's interesting. Oh, and then the card reads: uh, the arms of love draw closer to you, and ambition you love grows into what is visible and tangible. And then we have this little koala bear in the tree. And. Um, and looking at these two cards, um, it's interesting because it it is it is really pulling out of um, kind of past past confusion and past chaos. Um, but Tia Arcana has to do with uh, looking at the mysteries of of humanity, looking at the mysteries of life, and and 
and why uh, these these um, you know the tensegrity of of humanity or our experience in existence gets so thrown out of whack? Why is it that it's so thrown out of whack? You know, and um, how do we how do we work to restore order and and you know bring order to the chaos and find the patterns um, and uh, be able to move into a state of health? A collective state of health. How, how do we do this? And that's the mysteries. So, um, and really, the great work. Um, I don't know. A lot of there's um, Thomas Berry uh, founded that term or coined the term, um, the great work. But the great work has to do with relationships, and and you know, really mastering love and, and relationships. And that's the great work that needs to be done by humanity. That's the great work that will evolve humanity. So um, we, we need this great work to be done. And, um, you know, we have teachers come in like um, the, the Buddha or... Oh, my chicken got a frog. Gross. <laughs> Here she comes running. I think she's going to... Oh, she, oh, she's a U-10. I was going to catch her down there. He lives over there, though. <laughs> ah, where is she? She's running all the way over there, and you can't even see. Cause it's <laughs> gross. All right. Uh, actually, I'm gonna just go see how that frog is. If if it's a if it's alive, I'm gonna take it. No. Okay. <laughs> I was too late. It was already dead. But um. Anyway. Um. Okay. So we have this pulling out of the mysteries. And, and really finding that healing and that balance in, in the mysteries and, and, you know, being able to navigate them and feel them out so that we can, we can kind of um, find our placement within our relationships, you know, uh, kind of how close or how far away do we need to be with people so that we can restore the tensegrity to a state of health, to a state of um, wholeness. Well, it is whole, but to a state of holistic health, you know, so that everything is healthy. And, um, and so we, we have this, um, oops, we have this, that was Uzumi, uh, blowing this over. She's the uh, goddess of, uh, happiness, joy and happiness, um, and playfulness. So anyway, uh, we, we have this, um, you know, restoring of order, restoring of things, and we can sense and we can feel things and we're navigating things and it's almost like we're, we're using our intuition, being able to be guided by um, the, the energies. We're being guided by the energies and we're, we're in tune with them, so we're able to navigate in the dark and, and we have our safe place. Um, to, you know, to sleep and to, to, I don't know, go into our dream realm or go into our own uh, subconscious or our own super, super conscious, be able to tap into that, that safe place and, um, and you know, and uh, be able to go there regularly to kind of nourish our ourselves and then and then they go out into the night again and then navigate again so it's like kind of this this you know constant pattern of, of navigation and then coming back and kind of tuning in with yourself and in your super conscious and and then going back out and feeling it out again so we kind of have this back and forth of going inward and then and then navigating outward and then uh, we move to ha ha ha, which has to do with really um, finding that space in our life from from things that bother us, that things that are uh, you know chronic stress or chronic um, chronic happenings that we we don't particularly care for, the chronic patterns of, of disease and um, of uh, disharmony. So we were able to get to a place where we, we find our, our, you know, place of health and our, our safe place and, 
um, we have a place to recover and get over this chronic stress or these chronic happenings in our lives and um, really move into a, a place where personally we're beyond them and they don't affect us anymore so that we're it's almost like we can um, trans trans transfer into another dimension of, of reality you know that that old reality of um, stress or problems is no longer and we transfer into a new a new reality that um, you know serves us in our soul in a um, more in a, in a state of harmony and really you know things that go with us and resonate with us and um, you know move into that that perfect life for ourselves so we move into the, the love and that that's what this is about the love that gets revealed so we were able to move into this place of love and healing so um, anyway and I, I don't know what the koala bear is maybe I'll look that up for you guys I'll try and remember I always forget by the time I go to do the um, the video I forget to well because it's so much afterwards I, I actually do all the loading and do everything you know and then the final the final thing is putting it on YouTube and by that time I always forget that I was supposed to add this but I'll, I'll, I'll try and remember and I'll um, put the information about the koala bear so Anyway, again, it says, the arms of love draw closer to you, and an ambition you love grows into what is visible and tangible. So, thanks so much for watching, and I will be back with you um, soon for, for the daily tomorrow. Take care. Oh, we have that snipper right over there, um, now eating little pieces of dirt much better than <laughs> the frog. But actually, I'm going to look up frog and post that as well. Um, because she did, um, that was a very disruptive, uh, and she actually came running right under us and stopped underneath the reading and turned around and went out. So, um, Cinebrite has to do with, um, it's about the elixir of immortality. And it's about what, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. And, um, and really having a 360 degree change like total change uh, it has cinnabarite has the highest refractive power out of any mineral out there so um, the special quality of cinnabarite is that when something enters into it it has extremely radical immediate change and then um, with radical immediate change we get adjustments naturally um, it's like with the again talking about the body um, <clears throat> when you when you do a stretch really quick, you get a, an adjustment. That's a, a chiropractic, uh, you know, adjustment. So it's with speed, with quick change, uh, you get an adjustment. So anyway, um, she did eat a frog, and so she has this this uh, what doesn't kill you make you makes you stronger. She she got the the this the medicine of the frog. She took the medicine of the frog into her and this, the frog has sacrificed itself for uh, the, the uh, energy of cinnabarite, the energy of, of major uh, change and um, oh god oh there it is again okay well I guess they didn't finish eating it so anyway, and now now sweet corn baby has it. So um, that's about uh, there she's. <laughs> um, so sweet corn baby is about um, really nurturing the ego. Also, so um, really um, you know constructing the beliefs and the, the the mind and the the life that we we want to serve us. So she's also getting the medicine. So the ego is getting a medicine. The ego, so many people's ego need healing. I mean, the ego is not a bad thing. It's getting bashed. A lot of people's egos are bashed every day, and we need to we need to take time to uh, heal the ego. So um, this is about sweet corn baby it has to do with um, healing the beliefs that get stuck in our head. It's healing healing the. Um, words and thoughts get that get thrown at our, our personal identity 
and so we have this healing with that and then also the healing of the quick and, and powerful change. This is the gross frog again. Alright, I'm gonna take that thing away anyway because it's just gross. <laughs> they got their medicine. We got our medicine. Okay. I'll give them a, a egg treat or something. <laughs> so anyway, I hope everybody um, got something out of that little extra. Sorry for the graphics. And I'll see you this evening. Uh, 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 I don't, who knows what time it is for you guys, but I'll see you in a little bit.